हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जे सी ई कनेक्ट सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स सो इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट द इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन सो दैट इज अ फोर्सिस कॉजिंग द मोशन ऑफ फ्लूड एंड फॉर एनालिसिस वी यूज द न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन सो वेरियस फोर्सिस विच कॉज द मोशन ऑफ द फ्लूड दे आर ग्रेविटी फोर्स प्रेशर फोर्स विस्कस फोर्स टर्बुलेंस एंड कॉम्प्रेसिबिलिटी then finally the net force to be taken the sum of all the forces which causes the fluid motion so we have discussed and various uh, researchers worked on that and they have considered uh, some of the forces for the uh, uh, motion of fluid and uh, some they have neglected and based on that the various equations are obtained that is renault's equation of motion where he has neglected the compressibility and the navier stokes equation where he has neglected the turbulence of the fluid and uh, he obtained the final equation and that equation he named as a navier stokes equation and one more uh, that is a euler he considered only the two forces which are more predominant for the motion of the fluid they are gravity and pressure force so now for uh, Uh, over study uh, this equation is very very important that is euler's equation of motion so based on this uh, fluid can be analyzed and uh, equation to be obtained in a differential form so in today's class let us discuss about that one only and we have also discussed about the energy possessed by a fluid the energies are the potential energy kinetic energy and the pressure energy so these three energies whenever the fluid starts flowing it will be having and the sum of these all three will call as a total energy and and uh, so today's class we are going to discuss about the euler equation of motion along a streamline and from the euler equation so we are going to obtain the bernoulli equation for a fluid motion and again uh, in bernoulli equation now uh, uh, that is for a fluid and uh, we are going to consider the fluid as a ideal fluid and what is the equation for bernoulli and for the real fluid what is the equation the bernoulli has given we'll discuss and also the assumptions made in the derivation of a bernoulli equation and the limitations also and the euler equation for a steady flow the steady flow means the uh, the fluid properties that is the velocity the velocity acceleration and the discharge will not be changing with respect to time so that the euler equation for a steady flow for an ideal fluid along a streamline is a relation between the velocity pressure and density of a moving fluid and it is based on the newton's second law of motion so the integration of the equation gives the bernoulli equation in the form of energy per unit weight of the uh, flowing fluid so we are using for the analysis purpose the newton second law of motion and the once we get the equation of uh, uh, euler that is uh, in the form of differential equation then the integration of that differential equation gives you what the bernoulli equation so let us uh, discuss about the euler equation of motion and this is the equation of motion in which the forces due to gravity and pressure are taken into consideration as we discussed earlier the euler equation mainly it considers the gravity force and mainly it consider the gravity force and the pressure force the gravity force and the pressure force are taken into account and this is derived by considering the motion of a fluid element along a streamline as you know the streamline flow so just look at the picture here so here the fluid is uh, flowing like this this is what we call as a streamline flow see all the fluid particles are moving in a order they are moving in a systematic manner they are not at all mixing each other they are following their own path they are called as they are moving in a uh, what we call as a they are following the order okay so this is what we call as a streamline flow so for the analysis purpose let us take a one streamline and just uh, uh, 
consider the various forces acting on the streamline and uh, what are the forces which are causing the motion of that fluid so let us consider one streamline like this so we have to consider the streamline like this this is a streamline let us consider the streamline so let us mark the direction as yes that is streamline direction okay so we have considered the one streamline okay so consider a streamline in which the flow is taking place in yes direction so consider a cylindrical element just a construct one cylinder on this streamline for analysis purpose and let us take the cross sectional area of this cylinder as a da mark the da and length as a ds length as a ds and just uh, 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 consider the various forces acting on this streamline are the pressure force that is on this face as we know pressure equal to force by area pressure equal to force by area so force equal to what pressure into area so force can be written as pressure multiplied by area pressure multiplied by area now from this formula so I am considering the pressure force on this face so I have considered the one streamline and on this streamline a cylindrical cylinder is constructed of area da and length ds now mark a pressure force on this face as well as opposite to that that face the pressure force on this face as pressure is p giving a pressure to the fluid as a p which is acting on the area that is da pressure multiplied by area gives you what pressure force that is p into da acting on this face similarly as the fluid starts moving and it has reached this phase so there will be a certainly there will be a change of pressure from the hydrostatic law we know the change of pressure over a length of ds how much the change we are getting p plus dou p by dou s means a small change in the pressure over a length of ds we are getting dou p by dou s into ds the change of pressure over a length of ds for a length of ds multiply by the area gives you the pressure force on the opposite side of the element that is cylindrical element so here on this uh, face the pressure force will be what p plus dou p by dou s into ds into da okay then one more force which will be acting is the self weight of this element that is weight as we know the specific weight formula specific weight equal to weight by volume weight by volume is a specific weight so weight can be written as weight can be written as specific weight into volume okay the specific weight can also be written as rho into g and volume can be written as da that is area multiplied by ds area multiplied by ds that is volume da into ds is what volume so that is written rho into g into da into ds so that weight will be acting vertically downward by making an angle of theta okay so these are the forces which cause the fluid to move okay so after marking all the forces on this uh, streamline so let us uh, uh, apply newton's second law of motion so now let theta is the so this is the theta that theta is the angle between the direction of flow and the line of action of the weight of element so this is the direction of flow and the, the line of action of the weight is acting vertically downward and here is a theta so this is the theta then the resultant force as free resultant force on the fluid element in the direction of s must be equal to the mass of fluid element multiplied by the acceleration in the direction of x so here we are applying the newton's second law that is f equal to m into a okay so this is a net force acting on the fluid element 
so here we need to consider the net force means the sum of forces which causes the fluid to move the total forces we need to write on this left hand side and is equal to mass times of acceleration the net force here we have to consider the pressure force and the self weight of the element the pressure force on this side pressure force on this side okay along the yes direction to be taken a positive and opposite to the at one is taken as a negative so p into dm minus p plus dou p by dou s into ds and the self weight is what this is the self weight and if we resolve this force one along the streamline and another one is perpendicular to the streamline along the streamline v as a cos theta and perpendicular to that will be the sin theta so we are uh, uh, we are a, we want force along a streamline hence we need to take this force that's why it's taken as a minus rho into g into da ds into cos theta and these are the total force that is the net force acting on this element fluid element is equal to what again the mass mass is what density is can be written as mass by volume density is mass by volume so mass is equal to what density into volume so that is rho into da into ds is the volume multiplied by as okay so this is the equation we have obtained there so where es is what acceleration in the direction of s no the acceleration can be written as dv by dt as we know Uh, the rate of change of velocity, what we call as acceleration, and the velocity is what the function of uh, displacement and time by the chain rule. By the chain rule, so we can write the velocity as dou v by dou s into ds by dt plus dou v by dou t. Just to apply the chain rule for this one, because velocity is what velocity is the function of displacement and time. So you can apply the chain rule for this one. If you apply chain rule, we get this equation. So in mathematics, uh, we know the chain chain rule. How to apply the chain rule and all. So we get this one. So do so this ds by dt. It means the displacement by time means the velocity. So we can write v into dou v by dou s plus dou v by dou t. So here written where ds by dt is what velocity. Suppose if the fluid is uh, sorry, if the flow is steady, means the velocity is constant at every point. Wherever you take velocity is constant, so then we can write is dou v by dou t is equal to zero. So when we write a dou v by dou equal dou v by dou t equal to zero, then the final equation we get for the acceleration is a s equal to v into dou v by dou s. Okay, v equal to dou v by dou s. Then substituting the value of a s, substituting this this. Uh, value of a s in the above equation. In this equation, it is to be substituted. In the above equation. If we substitute, we get this is the equation minus dou p by dou s into d s by d a d s into d a minus rho into g d a into d s cos theta and uh, is equal to rho into d a into d s into dou v by dou s into v. And dividing the whole term by Rho d s d a. If you divide this one whole term, finally we obtain this is the equation. Okay, this is the equation we get if we divide. Just to simplify, and you will get this equation. Or you can write this as a dou p by rho into d s plus. Just to rearrange the terms, you will get this one. Okay. And but from the figure, so from this figure. From this figure, just uh, uh, we have considered just to consider this height of the cylinder from here. We just take the reference, and this is to be taken as a z direction. So we have written it as a z direction. So this is the z, and uh, just to draw this one, this element. Okay, z d s. Sorry, just a minute. Here, just to consider this height as a z, okay, 
tz okay here from this figure from this figure theta that is cos theta equal to what dz by ds adjacent by hypotenuse so take the adjacent by hypotenuse substitute this in the above equation we get 1 by rho dp by ds plus g dz by ds we get this equation if you take from this figure cos theta we get this one then again if you simplify we get dp by rho plus g dz plus v into dv is equal to 0 so finally we have we get dp by rho plus g dz plus v dv equal to 0 so this is what finally we get so we get the Euler's equation this is what we call as a Euler's equation of fluid motion so it is having the pressure the pressure relation between the pressure potential energy and the well, uh, velocity that is uh, we get here okay so this is known as Euler's equation of motion in the differential form in differential form we get Euler's equation of motion so by using this equation the Bernoulli's equation can be obtained okay next equation of Bernoulli so the equation of Bernoulli from Euler's equation Bernoulli's equation is obtained by integrating the Euler's equation whatever the equation we have obtained above here yeah, so just to integrate this equation we get the Bernoulli's equation just integrate the above equation we get so if you integrate it to so this differential equation here we are here we are having uh, this this equal to zero so when you integrate it we get the integration constant so here so if the flow is incompressible if the flow is incompressible means the density remains constant then the rho is constant hence we get the after integration p by rho plus a g z plus v square by 2 is equal to constant or you can write p by rho into g just divide the end whole term by g we get p by rho into g plus z plus v square by 2 is equal to constant so or you can write p by rho g plus v square by 2 g plus z equal to constant so this is what we get as a Bernoulli's equation so this is a, a sum of we can call it the sum of pressure head kinetic head and a potential head as we discussed earlier whenever a fluid starts flowing it will be having a three form of energy that is a pressure energy kinetic energy and potential energy the sum of all will be constant at each and every section of the fluid flow wherever you take the sum will be constant but this equation uh, is to be satisfied it is it has a, it has certain assumptions so what are those assumptions we'll see here okay if this is this equation to be satisfied the the fluid should have certain assumptions okay as i said the p by rho is the pressure energy per unit weight of the fluid or it is called as a pressure head v square by 2 is a kinetic head or kinetic energy per unit weight and z is a potential energy per unit weight or potential head so the assumptions made uh, while deriving the Bernoulli's equation the fluid is ideal and that is means the viscosity is zero and the flow is steady means the, the velocity at every point is a constant there is no change in the fluid velocity and the flow is incompressible that is the density remains constant and the flow is irrotational that is flow will be in one direction okay so these are the assumptions made in while deriving the Bernoulli's equation that is the fluid is ideal that is viscosity is zero and the flow is steady flow is incompressible the flow is irrotational so for those those uh, kind of a fluid this equation will be satisfied that is the total energy will be constant at each and every point if the fluid the fluid is real then the equation to be modified so that we'll see in the later part of the uh, this unit thank you